last decade or so, we've lost over a million acres of farmland. Entire populations of people have completely lost touch with their food and the people who produce it. Currently, only about 58% of the beef available to the Ontario consumers was produced in Ontario or, or even Canada. And the balance of the market then is filled with imported beef. So a lot of this imported beef uh, comes into the marketplace as commodity beef and it's based on low prices. And, and that price really sets the base for what uh, processors are, are willing to pay for our cattle and beef. We're faced with rising costs and rising competitiveness in the marketplace. And then compounded with that is the shrinking cow herd, which really leaves our industry at a crossroads. We can continue to do what we've been doing, or we can choose a different path. Beef Farmers of Ontario and the Ontario Cattle Feeders Association have joined their efforts together in a marketing committee with Jim Clark leading the way. The focus will be on market penetration for beef products in Ontario and abroad. We'll avoid duplication of costs using checkoff dollars wisely. The committee will focus on overarching support for the Ontario beef brands. This will involve domestic markets as well as international markets. In addition to the marketing committee, BFO will focus on consumer engagement, educating consumers on Ontario beef brands. The committee will have a designated budget and will report back to the BFO and the Ontario cattle feeders on a yearly basis. To bring life to these, these activities, the two organizations are asking for your support to raise the provincial checkoff by $1.50 per head. So that'll bring the total Ontario checkoff to $5.50 per head. And of this new $1.50, $1.25 will be dedicated to the new joint marketing committee. And the balance, the 25 cents remaining, will stay with BFO to fund our consumer and our producer outreach programs. We are up against high cost of production and low cost pricing. With increasing the consumer demand, we will tighten the flexibility in price and make it a more stable market throughout the year. This will only make the Ontario beef industry stronger with the stability for all sectors. With this plan, I see the two organizations working together with more effective marketing, rising the prices on finished cattle, which will in turn be passed down to the cow-calf producer. Volatility in the marketplace doesn't just exist in Canada, it happens all over the world. And we'll never completely eliminate it, but we believe that by strengthening our relationship with the consumer and their relationship with Ontario beef products, uh, we can decrease this volatility by driving more demand for Ontario beef products. Under recessionary times, you, you often see that commodity and low-end products get heavily discounted, but higher-end products are, are less likely to be discounted or discounted at a, a lesser amount. So that creates price stability. And that's what we intend to do with Ontario beef is create a higher value proposition with the consumers so that they'll continue to support us at these higher prices. Checkoff is currently paid by sellers of cattle. So those producers who raise their cattle from birth to finish and then market the beef are legally exempt from paying checkoff under the Beef Cattle Marketing Act. That doesn't mean that uh, they're not contributing to the greater industry and it doesn't mean that they're not strengthening our bond with the consumers. So we do encourage those producers that, that do fall into this category of being exempt of paying checkoff to pay a membership fee and support the association's activities. The VFO board is currently investigating the feasibility of collecting checkoff on all finished cattle where a uh, sale does not happen. 
This does represent a, a significant change to Regulation 54 under the Beef Cattle Marketing Act and does require the approval of Ontario Cabinet. So this cannot be done quickly. More work needs to be done to better understand the costs and benefits of proceeding with this proposal. Under the Collaborative Partnership Program, CPP, um, dollars only awarded to successful applicants who are checkoff paying members and are vetted through the uh, Beef Farmers of Ontario membership database. And this process will continue under the new Joint Marketing Committee. If we don't go with this plan where the two organizations are working together in marketing, the Ontario beef industry is going to lag behind the rest of the country as well as the world. If this uh, program is successful, I think you'll see a greater level of comfort within the industry. I think we'll be more comfortable to, to try and break away from dependence on off-farm income, more comfortable to encourage and, and support the next generation to to pursue a career in agriculture and, and beef farming specifically. I think we'll see more Ontario calves in Ontario feedlots. I think we'll see Ontario beef being the product of choice of consumers, both here at home and all over the world.